I'm Stephen Ben Danoon, and you're watching Danoon Institute of Biblical Research. We are standing now inside the synagogue that is here in Capernaum. There's different debates about when this synagogue was actually built. Some say it was built during the times when Yeshua was here and that he actually taught in this synagogue. And other archaeologists say that it was actually built after Capernaum was destroyed, approximately 300 years after that time. Nonetheless, it is built in the very place where Capernaum once stood. Outside behind me, you can see the blackened stones that make up the old city that once stood here, made from lava rock, which kind of makes you wonder when the city was actually built. Or when was there an earthquake or a volcano at one time? There's no evidence of a volcano around other than the city itself that's made from lava stone. So at one time or another, this city did, or this part of the region of the world did open up and lava rock spewed out from underneath the ground and they made a city from that. The stones, however, though, that build this temple were brought in from a long distance because there is no stones in this area that are like the very stones that they build this temple with, this synagogue. Nonetheless, though, as we come here to Capernaum, one thing that it reminds us of is the very words that Yeshua says, and that is, O Capernaum, Capernaum, the city that is called by the name of the angels, you've exalted yourself into heaven. You shall be drugged down to hell. It reminds us also of the judgment that is about to come to the world. The judgment of the religiousosity that has swept the world worldwide. People have become so religious, they've exalted themselves to heaven. But in many cases, the judgment of God will take those that are only make-believers and they shall be drugged down to hell as well. It's a very serious time. It's a solemn time in the history of the world that we're living in now. It's a time that we should be taking account within ourselves, within our own soul, as to what we will do. You know, soon the gospel of Yeshua will go from Gentile back to the Jews. And then, as their eyes come open, it'll be a glorious thing amongst the Gentiles, but also a grievous time. I can't help but think a lot of times when I think about modern day Christianity, it has become much like it was with my own people 2,000 years ago. We were very religious, very religious people indeed. And yet when Yeshua came, we were unable to recognize that he indeed was Mashiach. And now we're living in a modern day where the world has become extremely religious. And when Mashiach is about to return, are we really ready for him? Is our lives in order? Have we really sought his presence? Have we taken his coming serious? It's a serious hour. All we need to do is look at Israel, look around, look what's happening here in this country, look at the threat of war, war against this nation and the threat of annihilation. But we know the promise of God that he will fight for Israel this time. It won't be like it has been in times before where Israel goes into captivity once again. This time, God has said he will drag Gog and Magog. He will literally put the hook in their jaws and drag them here to Israel, for God will enter in judgment for all the evils that were done against the Jewish people while they were in exile. It's miraculous. It's a land that is filled with untold miracles, a land that is filled with, with a richness, richness of archaeological discovery. It's a biblical land. Thinking that right where my feet are standing now, that the blessed Yeshua actually no doubt walked. He spent much time in this area, much time around the Galilee. In fact, that's the water you can see in the far distant background. That is the Sea of Galilee. The very waters where Yeshua walked upon those waters and he said, peace be still. In front of me, behind where you're seeing now, is where he preached the Beatitudes. It is, there's just something about coming here to be where he walked, 
to stand where he stood, to see the things that he actually stood, saw. You know, when I hear the birds singing in the background, I think to myself, these are the descendants of the very birds that he listened to sing. It's an amazing time. I only pray and ask God's mercy upon you guys that may you be ready as well when he returns. May we find ourselves sincerely seeking his coming. We thank you. We thank you for your support and all that you do for us. I'm Stephen Bendenu with the Noon Institute of Biblical Research.